Hello everyone, so today if you guys can't see from the title, it's gonna be a little art hole. Okay, that's why it's a huge freaking art hole, like Like look at that baby <gasps> Freaking huge I say Okay, let's see Okay, you guys know I have a sketchbook obsession. I have so many freaking sketchbooks, but I went ahead and bought a render sketchbook there for like 11 something, I think it was. But using the sketchbook anytime soon, but I do have a lot of sketchbooks collecting that I will use eventually. So there's that. So yeah, my boyfriend also bought one because he came with me and I will show you guys which supplies he actually bought for me because I was going to do a video recording of him and me picking out our supplies, but it just turned out like I bought way more than I should have. So, uh, these I bought for my next sketchbook. Um, well, for my current sketchbook to paint over my, to paint on the cover of my sketchbook. <laughs> these turned out acrylic wash. They actually had a white tube, a big white one my boyfriend saw, and he was like, oh, look, they have it. And so he chose this out for me, thankfully. And then I also bought this Permium Orange and a Permium Yellow Orange for when I do my sketchbook cover because he picked the colors for me because I told them what I wanted since they didn't have a red because I was going to do strawberries but you guys will see eventually whenever I post that video. <laughs> Next up he bought these for me. Well chose them out for me basically. They're these Turner Artist Watercolor um, Series A both Series A's and 332 and 350 called Clove and Freshwater. They're so pretty. Like Oh, they're so good. So, a skin tone and a nice one that looks like for my OC. So, it's pretty great. I probably will do a video using um, two watercolors. Maybe like a challenge. Creating a character with these. Or maybe using my OCs with these. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, these are pretty. I love them. There's like some little information. Light fastness. Transparent. The fluids made in Japan. Um, keep out of contact, blah blah blah, and all that jazz. So yeah, really cool. EC told me, you guys already know about her. She said though the watercolors from there she approves because they're really good from there. And these are like a Jerry's brand. You know how like um, Michaels has Artist Loft, that's their brand type of thing. So I did not know that. She told me that and it was valuable information I wanted to share with you guys. Because I didn't know that. It's pretty interesting. Anyways... Next up, we got this Ruffane Art Sketch Pencil Linkers, made even the smallest pencil pieces, easy to hold and control, which I will need for something you'll see in a moment. So I got these. I was going to give one to my boyfriend and I forgot because there's a reason why, but I'll give it to him eventually. But yeah, he told me to get these because for... I believe it's in this bag. <laughs> Okay, hold on a minute. Which are for- oh god. <laughs> Which are for these. They have color- Prismacolor, color, color erase, whatever. Pencils there. Because- oh, I've been wanting to get some. They never have any when I go or I just don't look right. Like, correctly. So they have them there. I got them in a pink, a scarlet red, and a cadmium red. Because I like sketching with red underneath. It, ha it like adds more, so- that's what the pencil extender is going to be for, for these bad boys. My boyfriend also got one in, I think, the scarlet red one. So, I'm excited. <laughs> Next up, I got this favorite castell kneaded eraser in a blue one with another case because my red one's starting to dry out on me. And it's starting to not look red. But yeah, I got a blue one because last time I went, they didn't have a red one. So, I'm happy I got this blue one. I don't know if they restocked on a lot of stuff. But it sure seemed like it did because they did not have this there. They didn't have the color race ones. They didn't have a bunch of stuff the last time I went there in that haul video. So I'm so glad I splurged, to be honest. Like, they didn't have the render sketchbooks. So I'm glad I got one of those. <laughs> but yeah, blue one. Because blue is my favorite color, if you guys don't know. Specifically, like a baby blue. I like the light blue hues. They're really nice. <laughs> Next up, I got these fancy smancy... Raphael brushes because I love them soft aqua for watercolor because I got these other ones other ones last time and the round one so I got a little thin detailed one and this flat square one they're so soft these are like my special watercolor brushes so 
they're not like cheap they're really expensive actually i'll tell you guys the prices of specifically everything i bought and towards the end of the video because i went on a huge splurge and these are so nice <sighs> uh, i love these I forgot to also add this when I was doing the watercolor, but I guess it goes still with it. I got these Lucas little things that AC has recently um, got in one of her videos, her little haul video when she went to Jerry's. So she literally inspired me to get a lot of these stuff I saw in her video to try out. And I asked her boo um, in the DMs about the watercolor. So yeah, I got these ones in a ruby, ruby rot, ruby red. And then this um, burnt green earth color in 1141 and 1104 and a 2 series, I guess. I have two stars, so. Yeah, they're made in England. Pretty interesting. They look fancy smancy, to be honest. So yeah, I can't wait to like use these and start more watercolor collections because I don't have much watercolors. Like I'm just now getting into like expanding my range of watercolors. Like you guys saw, I have the Shinhan ones, the Windsor Newton ones, which I still haven't done a review slash first impressions of. Hopefully I'll try to get a video on that because I know someone asked me before to do a review on it. So I will do that eventually, hopefully <laughs> in February, if not March, because I have a lot of videos filmed out and ready for me to post. But yeah, there's these babies, and they're already in like a little, um, little square thingies. I can just put them in like a pan set, you know, so I will eventually get one for these bad boys. Next up, I don't know why they put it in here, because I guess it's to keep it safe. You guys know for my 2021 art goals, I wanted to try oil pastels. Well, I got some. <laughs> I had stained my finger already. I got this color. This is the brand. They're Artist Oil Pastels in 230. Um, yeah, it doesn't really have a name to it, which kind of sucks. But yeah, just know it's a 230, I guess, and this brand. Um, pastel, uh, hue, whatever. But yeah, they're supposed to be professional ones, and they're cheaper than these other ones for some odd reason. So I got, and they have more pretty colors in this selection. So I got these ones. <laughs> I don't really know much about oil pastels or like good brands, but oh my god, these are so like oily. And then this one's the number 17. It's like a purple. It's really nice. My boyfriend picked these out actually for me too. He like picked out my watercolors. The Lucas ones I recently showed right now. The gua the acrylic gouache ones. Um like a, he chose a lot for me today. So most of this stuff credits to him. And I know he's watching this video, so he doesn't comment because he's a shy bean <laughs> and then i got this one in 212 it's really nice he got this one because it reminded him like of a lips this one a lipstick color i think no this one he said but yeah and there's this one it's like brown i would i'm gonna probably swatch them maybe i don't know depending how long this video is gonna take i probably won't because i hardly swatch anything in my hauls because i just lazy like that but i might just for this video this one's the number 31. Oh, the thing almost came off. <laughs> it came in like a cool box. I'll show you guys in a minute when I'm done showing these off. Um, this one in a 40. Pretty green color like my OC, Annie. She's like my main OC. She was like my first OC I created, I believe, to be honest. And then there's this blue one, pretty, number two. That's cool. I wonder what number one is. <laughs> But yeah, they like put this in a box. You guys like see that's like sectioned off, which is pretty cool. But yeah, they put this in here. I don't know why, but it's pretty neat and handy. I might keep my oil pastels in these because I have nowhere else to store them. And I'm scared I'm gonna mess them up, so yeah. <laughs> and for the oil pastels, I got this fixative. I don't know much about fixative sprays because I don't do charcoal and not whatnot, besides in high school. But we use like the cheap one they sell at like Walmart and stuff. But I got this one, it was cheap. It's for odor-free, non-toxic, all-natural, all-media, perfect for soft pastel, oil pastel, chalk, con- what the freak is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Color pencil, graphic, charcoal on paper, yupo, I don't know what that is, canvas, ceramic, fabric, glass, leather, wood, and stone, which is pretty cool. There's like information about it, how to spray and whatnot, so. Yeah, and then there's ingredients. Oh yeah, ingredients right there. 
so yeah there's that and then the information about it so yeah that's pretty cool boyfriend told me to get this <laughs> oh my god it's this brush um basin for soak shape store and wipe brushes so i thought this was pretty neat i'm not gonna put my brushes up like that because i know it'll ruin the bristles inside so i'll probably leave them like that when they're fully dried if not i'll just leave them like this and have like this side dry but i don't know we'll see whenever i get to that yeah but it's a special plastic bin formed to allow you to soak brushes and solutions suspend for drying shape hair and wipe excess water or a solution for the brush excellent for any studio except your favorite brush cleaning solution size and blah 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 complete with a lid so yeah there's that pretty neat has different sizes you guys can tell so yeah, I'm really happy about this because <laughs> I always clean my brushes on the napkin and whatnot. So I think this will be, and I always use a jar, which is handy, but I kind of want to expand that. So yeah, I got this. <laughs> okay, next up, well, lastly, I got from Jerry's Arturama. I'm also going to have like a Michael's cut scene. Next, I got this Fred X USA Prime Canvas. It's a standard acrylic prime canvas, a deal for oils or acrylics, and it's round because I've been wanting to do a canvas on like a different shape canvas board since I have like a lot of square ones, which I think, I don't know, I feel iffy about. I need to like use them to be honest. Hopefully I'll use one and paint, paint on one slash do a video on soon to convince me to use them because I feel too lazy to use acrylics because I suck at acrylics and I don't have much acrylics because I have like the apple barrel cheap ones and they're kind of liquidy and take forever to dry for some odd reason and they dry super opaque and yeah but yeah and there's this it's around 10 one size my boyfriend told me to get this one too it's pretty big like this is my hand my whole hand fits in here <laughs> pretty cool <laughs> next up i forgot i bought this easy also got this in the video it's pretty cheap out of all the other sharpeners so yeah it kind of looks like a bullet like a mascara type thing it's a pencil sharpener it's one of those cool ones i've seen recently it shapes like the wood then the lead which is pretty cool i've seen someone got an art snacks box before i think drawing with waffles got one but it wasn't like this it was like a one of these or it's a gel arts i don't know it was someone but yeah, I got this because EC got one and it was pretty cheap and I wanted a pencil sharpener for my color erase pencils because my piranha one, I will probably lose it to be honest because I actually did lose and I don't know where the heck it went. But yeah, <laughs> so I got this in the meantime, pretty convenient. So yeah. Okay guys, I lied about the sharpener. It's just one little hole, I guess. Doesn't really do the other thing that does the um two thing. So yeah. There's that. My bad. It looks cool though. But anyways, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Next up for Michaels, I got these two. I need this for my cutting board because I lost the blade because I was trying to hide it from my little baby brother. And that's the size and the blade style. Hopefully it fits on my cutting board. But yeah, see, look, it just pops right in. Pretty cheap. I Nah, it was like nine something. I'll tell you guys the price actually i'll go ahead and tell you guys the price of these the michael stuff right now and then do the price for the jerry's arturama and maybe swatch um some of these stuff anywho for michael's this costed um 9.49 yeah <laughs> it's pretty expensive for this but i really need it so next up a golden artist watercolor um titanium white you guys can see the swatch up there. Information about it and whatnot. It's a heavy body acrylic. Okay, not really, I guess. And then I got this Quinchardone red. Quinchardone. <laughs> I'm using my country accent. Um, Quinchardone red. Yeah. And this, these two, they were buy one get one fifty percent off. And of course, they. I always hate how they take off the cheaper one than the more expensive one which i would have appreciated more to be honest but it's whatever um they costed 15.99 each and i got the 50 percent off on the doesn't say which color um 
We'll just go with the red, I guess. I don't know. And it came out to $5.24 for one of these. And in total, well, I also use my discount I have there with Michaels. I say $5.25, which came out to $33.25 for just these three bad boys. <sighs> Tears. <laughs> but yeah, there's that. <laughs> out of the way. Okay, I'm going to try doing this at a different angle. Hopefully, most of the stuff you can see. It's kind of iffy. Um, but anywho. Okay. Oh, this is the... Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> Good thing I noticed. Let me get it real quick. I forgot that I bought these stickers. Well, my boyfriend bought them for me because I didn't have enough money to get them for myself. Because you guys will see in a moment. But yeah, look at these. They're so pretty. I got one for my sketchbook and one to put on my water bottle. So cool. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, where's the... Oh, the person didn't put their at. <laughs> but... Yeah, someone that works there made these. And there was a print for $20 of this, and I was going to get it. But I spent so much money that I decided to just get the stickers. But yeah, the lady, the girl who made this, she was so pretty and sweet, and she was the one to check me out. So she was like, thank you so much for supporting me. And I was like, yeah, of course. So, again, there's that. It's really nice, the details and everything. Imagine the print one. Oh my god, I want to get it so badly. But anywho, these were $3 each boyfriend bought them for me because i didn't have enough because i'd be broke <laughs> but yeah anyways i got these two just wanted to mention that before i get on with this where the heck did i put my receipt oh no i don't know where i put my receipt oh there it is oh yeah by the way guys this is my receipt super long <laughs> okay first up the two-pack pencil extender where is it? Oh, did I put it in here? Uh, I found it. It was under the canvas board, apparently. But okay, the pencil extender costed ten thirty eight. The regular price was ten ninety five. Okay, and then the round canvas here was twelve thirty six. Regular price was seventeen twenty eight, and then the sharpener eclipse was 454 so regular price and just the amount actually and then the brush with the lid cm brush basin with lid was this and it was 677 regular price was 985 the render flat sketchbook which is right here was 1935 regular price was going to be 2279 and then the pump spray, this here, this is the fixative, was $16.95. The needable eraser, blue one, was $138. The Raphael Round 4, which is the smaller brush, the little deta detailed one, was $6.97. Regular price was $9.95. The Raphael Soft Aqua Flat 10, which is this square one, was $11.68. Regular price, $16.65. And then the color erase pink one was 132. The color erase scarlet red one was 132. And the color erase carmine red was 132. And then the clove, which is the oil pastel. Oh wait, no, no, no. This, sorry, the watercolor, 988 regular price, 1716. And then the what the heck is the tag 100 white? Uh, I'm kind of conf- I think that was the Turner's acrylic- Yeah, Turner's acrylic wash, this big one. Was seventeen twenty one regular price thirty eight fifty five. And then the orange, the premium orange, which is this one, was nine thirty two regular price twenty ninety. And then the the yellow orange was nine thirty two regular price twenty ninety. And then the Freshwater TWC 15 ml. Ah, oh, this one was also 9.88. Regular price 17.16. And then the oil pastels, all of them were 4.90. Just 4.90, which are all in this bad boy. And then the watercolor, this one was 5.43. Regular price 8.90. And then the this one. 
same thing 543 regular price 890 and then that's all of them <laughs> so the subtotal was 90 $109.19 with a tax of $14.12 and I got a discount which took off $19.02 and the total was $185 and then I also used the cash on my card blah 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 and so the total amount basically on my card was $144.29 with also cash $41 so you guys can do the math <laughs> pretty crazy uh, but yeah that's the end of this um art haul i hope you guys have a good day good night morning um whenever this time whatever time it reaches you and i'm definitely not going to be just watching all these bad boys because i spent so long going through all these like like <laughs> like all these so yeah i'm pretty sure my mom will kill me because i got paid and i used the less what's left of my paycheck on this basically i'm broke now but anyways have a good day bye <laughs>